Hello, hello guys and welcome back to CK3 in our modded series here in Rigmas Rie. How are we doing today? First off, we got one new mod to talk about. It is in right in here in the decisions. It is invite custom character. It is very similar to the other one that recruits male or female courtiers, but let's check it out here. Call your messenger cool. This will then pop up and uh, then we got a little uh, decision to make here. So we can search for a specific character. And we can do that by setting a couple of different filters. We can do random culture, we can do my culture which will cost extra gold and take extra time for the messenger to find this person. We can go by random religion, my religion. Yeah, great, right? My religion group. So, so you can actually set it to find something that is Christian but not necessarily orthodox in our case uh, random gender male female so it, it, it got cost modifiers that will change depending on what you're looking for see it actually goes up the the, the older they are here uh, I, I would i would probably go for random to be honest but this gives us options in terms of maybe we want some something very very diplomatic well we can go for it it's gonna cost us but we will find something that we need exactly what we want we will get for full disclosure, I also installed another mod, but we can't really look too much at it because it is not... Well, it is activated, but we do not have any vassals. And this mod is called Terms and Conditions May Apply, and it completely changes how the contracts are working in the feudal... You know, in here. We're going in here, and we can see right here. We got we got the Baron Valdemar, but we can change his uh, obligations because he's a Baron. We can only change real vassals, but we will check this mod out when we do get some vessels in this episode we will be moving time a little bit faster less events less dynasty members getting names and stuff like that we are building up the county tiles inside our rigmasri and yeah we, we will see what else happens maybe maybe we'll get into a war or maybe maybe she'll just die who who knows but i'll not show you all the events and small things here we are gonna see some big time jumps so uh, pre be prepared. Red and yellow carrots. I met an interesting, perhaps slightly crazy traveler today. He claimed to have seen red and yellow carrots in a far faraway land. Haha, -ha, what a good joke. <laughs> Everyone can see carrots are purple. Wait, what? Even if there are such things as red and yellow carrots, no one would want such outlandish colors for their carrots. What's next? Orange? <laughs> Orange carrot? What? You gained amused? Okay. <laughs> Historical context. For much of history, the most common colors of carrots was purple. What? Red and yellow carrots begins to appear during the medieval period, while orange carrots came about during the early modern period. Okay. Well, I that's that's something new to me, but I I love these kind of small historical context. That uh, this is from the V E I L, I think it's called mod. I I'll show you on. I'll show you on the screen. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's that's wow. Interesting little uh, story here. Asver got a new son. Yes, Sigmund is gonna be his name. There we go. We got a perk, and I believe it is the last one. Yes, it is the diplomat skill. Nice. So we will gain plus three uh, diplomacy plus independence ruler opinion and personal scheme power yeah yeah so what now <laughs> are we going down in august uh, august uh, how you i don't i'm not sure how to pronounce that actually august or august not sure uh, inspiring rule hmm monster prestige visualization epic decisions level of fame Diplomacy per level of fame. Yeah, I don't know. We don't need to be fertile anymore, anyhow. We might we might go over in stewardship or maybe learning. Uh, maybe stewardship actually. Uh, getting a little bit more from maybe the architect tree could be very good for us. Uh, collect taxes. That would be nice. Yeah, I think we're going over here and getting. A little bit more income because that is definitely what we are focusing and what she wants to focus on for the remainder of her lifetime here so we're going over here wealth 
focus. Here we go. We are being called to war by our ally, Katarina. Huh. Let's check this out. What's going on? Who are you up against? You're up against High Chieftain, someone I don't know. From up here. Uh, well, she can't do it alone. The question is, is this... Hmm... On decline, she will lose 20... We will lose... We will lose 350 fame. Now, I don't want to do that. So we're going to accept because... Yeah. We will probably be the most important ally to her <laughs> for sure. But also, I think we can maybe win this war. And I mean, I don't have a lot else going on. So I might as well join in and help her out. Because she is, you know, a close friend and so was her mother. So let's, uh, let's accept it and uh, see what we can do. Let's just... Raise all armies and let's check it out. Holy War 4. So it's the Holy War for this tile right here. So it's actually it's actually uh, it's actually her, Katarina, is attacking him. So uh, that's not exactly what I wanted to see because I don't want her to be more powerful. That's potentially something that is not good for us. But I will help her. I will definitely help her out. We're gonna go for this tile right here. But I'm not gonna show you this entire war. Just, you know, bits and pieces here and there. So, as it turns out, he actually gained an ally. And they are more powerful than us now. And I didn't really want to commit fully here. I got 561 soldiers moving up here. I think he's going for the capital. But yeah, I'm just gonna attach myself to this army when I get there. Um, because I don't think he, I don't think Katarina is actually gonna win this war. But I, I will help her out with a bit of soldiers, not too many, because I don't want to go over. Y you know, it's it's not a good war for us because we uh, we are crippling our um, our try to actually get more buildings in. So yeah, 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 yeah. Our culture have discovered banners. I don't think it's gonna mean anything to us, to be honest. Uh, leave a reinforcement rate, fifteen percent. Sure, it's fine. I like it. So I'm not exactly sure how this happened, but if we go down here to uh, to Thomas Kierke, Thomas Kierke, and uh, we got a new Baron, and I don't know how she got this. I I, did, I didn't put her, but he's she's Orthodox Tamil. No idea, but she's actually rather good, so I actually put her on our steward uh, spot here. So yeah, pretty pretty decent. And the war is still continuing, but I doubt, I doubt Katrina will actually win it. And she, she's up against it, and I'm not fully committed. But she is taking over a couple of tiles now, so... Well, she's seizing down the capital, so maybe, just maybe, she'll win this one. Oh no! My mortal body! See, this is... This is an event that could be a little bit dangerous for us. Because we are 62 years old now, and we are gonna gain ill. So, uh, yeah, uh, I, th I think we will do no more than necessary because ill is, you know, the lowest rank bad health trait you can get. So we're going to go with uh, do no more than what is necessary. Here we go. Let's see what happens. A little brighter. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that happened. So, uh, I guess, uh, I guess getting ill is not good when you're 62, right guys? We, uh, we have died. Oh, God. So, here, here, here goes. Petty Queen Rick Maverick Marie has found peace in Christ's embrace at 62 of age. She died from being ill. Yeah. One, once famous for her looks, fate caused her with a life long enough to witness her beauty slowly wither away. Yeah, I, I, I guess that's true. I guess that's true. Pretty... Uh, pre I said pretty, really. Petty Queen Asvira ascends to the throne, being both thrift thrifty and frugal. <laughs> the realm will surely prosper under her rule. Cool. So we're gonna continue as her. But holy moly, there is probably gonna be a lot to look into here now. First off, let's take a look what we got up here going on. We got no lifestyle chosen. Okay, let's choose a lifestyle. Hmm. Stewardship. Yes. We already got three. Okay, she's going for administrator here. Uh, so we got claim throne. Not really helpful. Large levies. Okay. 
soon forgiven. Okay, uh, can we use anything over here? Domestic affairs plus 25, that's decent. Direct vassal opinion plus 10, leash plus 20. See, I don't really think we're going down this way because... This would be good if you are inside a kingdom or something like that. Architect, on the other hand, would be very, very good for us. And of, of that word, it would also be very good for us. Demand payment for hooks. Mm, vassal tax contribution. Uh, monthly income while at war. Monthly income per stress level. No, I think we're going for architect. So, let's see. What are we going to go for? Income plus 10. I think we're just going for the st straight up income here. Domain focus? Nah, we don't know. Uh, no, we don't even have all of our domains. Uh, yeah, so so it's, it's fine. So, we're definitely going to go down in architect when we get to it. But right now, wealth focused. We also got some empty council positions. Let's check it out. Uh, Alliance invalid. Right, we need to check that out as well. Uh, so we got our chaplain here, who is an aide. Oh, he's not very good, is he? Can we uh, can we fire him? We can fire him, but what is it gonna cost us? Twenty opinion. Um, sure. Let's see if we can find someone else. We can. Maybe it will, maybe someone will just get appointed. But yeah, we, he, he was not good enough. We didn't like him. We also got our duke. So he's a duke now. Oh, no, no, no. He's... Yeah, this, this is our... Uh, actually, let's uh, let's make sure that we pin him. Because he's an important player, of course. So, yeah. Assistant ruler. That seems about right. Steward. We need a new steward. Uh, we're going to sign the baroness, actually. That is perfectly fine by me. And we got that is fine, that is fine, and that is fine. But we probably need our daughter on here because she is pretty powerful, isn't she? 271 soldiers. Okay, I think we need her on here. She is pretty yeah, average at everything. I guess we could put her on the spy master task. She is she is a flamboyant trickster anyhow, so. Let's do that. Not that I really like to do that, but I mean, it, it might work out in our favor here. Might work out. So, yeah, our sister got Esvier Ergen right, right now, which is named after us, but whatever. Yeah, she got that tile. And she also got the barony down here. Uh, so, we got two tiles left. Well, that's all right. That's all right. So, now we can actually. This, this, he's gonna get appointed. That's fine. But now we can actually check out this new mod that I installed. If we go into vassals here and we go into since Utah. Yeah, we, we can we can modify this. Let's see if it works. Yes, it does. Look at this. So this is completely changed. The terms and condition may apply mod completely changes how this works. First off, we can change that this whenever we like. But also the changes is more like how opinions work now. As you can see, if we are moving it around, it, it's opinion based. Um, and, and we can make as many changes as we like and modify it as, as heavily as we like. But it depends on the character that we are uh, making the contract with. And how it works is, depending on her traits and who she is or he, uh, they will want something or don't want something. And that will completely change the uh, negotiation part of feudal contracts and make it more unique every time. So let's see what we can get out of this one. Uh, I would actually probably like very high levies instead of gold. So now it's going to minus 25. I guess they got some modifiers. Yeah, uh, this one is... So there is a base modifier for all of them. This one is 10 plus 10 plus 5. Nothing. Minus 15. And minus 25. Right. And I guess the same down here. And then this one got minus 5. Plus 5. Plus 5. And plus 5. Okay. Good to know. So. What the, uh, that would be nice to get that on. Um, no. Actually. I don't want that on. I don't want her to go into vessel wars, wars. I want her to. Council rights. We could give her council rights. That would change it directly to green. So she would accept that. With minus 20 opinion of us. 
uh, if we accept that. But she would accept it. She would accept this. Uh, and I don't mind giving her the council right here, to be honest. Uh, no, we don't want that. We want maybe council right. We could also maybe go down. She would accept that as well. But I'll rather... Actually, she's not giving us any money anyhow right now, but... Hmm... I think I'll just give her the fuel taxes a little bit lower. I think I'm good with that. So, that is what it does. It, it changes completely how the contract works, and I really like it. I really like this a lot better, better than the vanilla version. Let's, uh, let's go for this contract. As it stands right now, the succession would be Sivat or Sigmund. We do not have a daughter yet. So that is interesting. Um, I want to check out if both our sons actually got a ward. They do. We got a guardian here and we got a guardian here. And I'm perfectly fine with it not being us but someone else. But I do want them to be educated by someone who is quite good. I always go for the best first. So they, they got some pretty decent, uh, pretty decent guardians I think. Um, but we would actually lose something here if we were to die straight up. And that would be that tile up here. Yuta Fesning would go to uh, the other son, of course. But I hope we will gain a daughter. Because that will, uh, that will make sure that these sons will not get anything. <laughs> I was wondering if I should go in and actually change her clothes or anything. But I kind of like this kind of like how she looks here. She looks a little bit, you know, steppy or something like that. But still with the Danish uh, or at least northern kind of clothing here. But I, I do like that a lot. But uh, yeah, we, we might change it in the future. But for now, I, I feel like that's, that's really nice. With a new character, we of course have to have in mind that we have some new traits and is a new... We are playing as a new character, which means Something will change a little bit here and there when it comes to the role playing. Hopefully I can manage that. Uh, that is how I want to do things. So we are trusting. We, we tend to trust people. Good. Callius. Okay. So she's pretty heartless. Pretty cold blooded. Fair enough. Uh, she, she will do things that might seem, you know, out there. <laughs> Humble. Hmm. That's a little bit strange when she is also uh, Callius. But so she's humble. So she doesn't really want anything in life. That's interesting. But she's a fortune builder as well. <laughs> she's humble but a fortune builder. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's very interesting. And she's intelligent, of course. So she will make some pretty decent um, decisions because well, she's she's pretty damn smart. Smarter than most, at least. One thing she is not, well, that is a friend of Katarina. And we are actually in a war right now with Katarina for some holy kingdom. And I don't think she wants to be in this war at all. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna detach ourselves from this uh, war and let Katarina deal with it. Because we, we, uh, we, we simply don't care. We, we, don't, we don't even like her. We, we got se minus 75 opinion of her. Can we, can we like move out where we won't lose any men? So we're gonna move out. That's the first. That's the first decision that Asvir is gonna make. That's for sure. Mo move out. <laughs> but she do want to become friends with her sister. That much is pretty much guaranteed. Uh, or maybe not. 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 It, it, not entirely friends, but she just you know she wants to sway her a little bit. Eighty-six percent chance. That's pretty good. So an interesting thing here is that we can actually marry our father away, and I think we might want to do that because we. Could potentially get an ally here. Let's check out if we can get anything good. That is a good one. That is a big alliance going if we could get that one. And I don't really want to attack in that direction anyway. So, you know what? That's that's something I'm... I'm we need to consider that. We need to do... We, we, we really do need to consider that. Um, let's go to this one, which is a lot smaller and... I don't know where it is. Let's zoom out and see if we can see it somewhere. It's way over there in China. So, no. And uh, what about this one? Same deal. No, I think we're gonna go for this one because that is a very good deal for us. Very, very good deal. And our father could potentially get one more daughter or son, I guess. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like that's a very good 
Al Youngs to get. Um, he's minus 25 of us right now, but I think that's gonna change. Matrilineal marriage. Yes, it will be house in Givimi or whatever. Let's go with it. Let's go with it. Someone just randomly gave us 100 gold. I, I kind of hit the clear notifications before I actually managed to even see what it was. I was trying to hit it, but well, we got 100 gold. So uh, that's that's very nice. That is very nice indeed. I think we should spend them straight away for... Mm, let's see what we would like to get. I, I think we're just going for the money. Um, that, that seems like the best option for us. We could go for more Levy, but eh, I'd rather take the gold right now. I'd rather uh, build up our gold deposits and the, the buildings that can give us even more gold. Here we go citizen district we are now only second in line to inherit the county of svr Urken with our name because our sister-in-law got a son we do not have any control over this son because well she is you know a county tile on her own she got her own w wishes and wants and what uh, what not <laughs> so uh we we didn't even get to uh, you know rename him we can we can we can rename him if we want to but I don't want to be too intrusive uh, into people's lives here, especially someone like my sister, who is, you know, standing on her own two feet. In other news, we are getting pregnant, hopefully with a daughter, but we will see. While others around us is gaining tiles, we are just sitting here with three. Um, I think it is time to claim or fabricate a claim on something. And I'm thinking we're gonna do it against Katarina. It might be a little bit out in the future before we can actually do anything with that claim. But we do have the money to actually start fabricating it and get it. And just having that option later on for a war might be very, very good for us. So uh, let's start fabricating. There we go. It is under it. I, I'm not even sure if I wanted this tile compared to maybe... No, I did want this one because it's connected to our uh, current... Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to go and it's also a mountain and it's a very good tile. It got, it got a couple of different things going for it. So, uh, yeah, look look at how many buildings this uh, bishop down here got up temple. And it got a very good castle that we can maybe do something with later on. Yeah, let's uh, let's see what, uh, what this will get us in the future. We have... A new daughter. Well, it is the first daughter, actually. And therefore, I have decided to go with the name we know. I'm gonna go with Rikma II. Here we go. So, Rikma II is actually... Yeah, she's intelligent and comely. That is pretty damn good. That is a pretty good character. Or maybe she will be in the future. We, we will see. But yeah, Rikma II is born. Our first stewardship... Perk is popping up here. Actually, it's not the first, but it is the first that we are gonna put in. What are we gonna go for? What did I go for? Oh, yeah, right. I think we're going down the architect here because we are building a couple of things. We could also just go down this one. Administration. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Uh, I mean, since we are that far into the tree... We might as well go for it. Uh, your vassals are less likely to join independent factions. And since we do have an independent... No, we don't have. We don't have. You know what? I, I will get down in this tree. But it, it doesn't seem fitting right now. I think I think the architect is just... Tax woman. So it's not even called tax man. Nope. It's called tax woman when we are a woman. That's that's actually nice. Um, cutting cornerstones. I think we're going to go for that one. Interesting enough. Katarina actually won her war. <laughs> it's... I have no idea how that happened, but it did actually give us... Yeah, our war contribution was actually... Okay, 812 score. We gained 100 prestige and the opinion from... I mean, we are, we are actually friends with her now. Basically, we are friends with her. Uh, but no, she's our rival. So, yeah, but, but still, it's I, I guess it's good because we did get some prestige from it. But uh, I don't really care too much. But she will be way more powerful now if we're going into a war against her. And, and, and it is basically the thing we want to do. I think, I think it is our 
goal in life to take over uh, Kulilimbia. That is probably her goal in her life, taking over from Katarina here. But uh, we'll see if that is gonna happen, or maybe we... It, 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 again, this game is so good, because you never really know what's gonna happen. It, everything can change, you're just plotting, and maybe things will happen, maybe it won't. But that's the interesting part, right guys? Oh, and I, I didn't see it! Additional taxes! Maybe, maybe it was from her the last time as well. 90 gold again. Holy moly, that's a lot. And the claim is about getting fabricated. So I guess we are getting both the claim and a new building. Interesting. Let's start with the building here. And uh, maybe we want to build up a Ligma Spore a little bit more if there is anything we want. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. See, I... No, not really. I, I still want to go for the money or the levies. And I think we can still get... We got levies right here. So that, the port district. Is there any more gold? There is the tavern. Yeah, we're just gonna go straight for the tavern here because we want as many, we want as much gold as possible because gold is really sparse. It's really sparse here to begin with. And uh, we just want as many buildings as we can get for uh, getting more taxes in. So here we go. So we lost our physician and I, I didn't really have anyone at my call that we could potentially, you know, get that was really good. So, yeah, we got these two guys that we searched for, and I think Ingolf is, well, compared to the price, he's definitely the best choice, because this guy's costing 50, and he's, you know, not really that much better, except from not being scaly and actually having having the trade physician, but, uh, I've, you know, let, let's just go with it. Um, I could get someone from my court. But then again, I might as well just take this guy in. He, he's he's okay. He's 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 not nothing special. He's pretty bad actually. But let's just go with it. We just need a physician, and it's fine. We might we might swap him out later on. And I think the fabrication here is done. So uh, 102 gold. That's actually a lot more expensive than I thought it would be. Huh. Uh, countless runa. Okay, so there are two persons that's gonna not like us. Hmm. Yeah, I don't care about any of those, I think. Yeah, it's it's fine. She's our rival and she's just a random Knud's daughter. daughter. Yeah, uh, who cares? Let's see it done. And that means we actually do have the option to declare war on her if we want to. Uh, she is right now a lot less powerful than us because we got some really good allies. But I'm not sure I want to go in against her right now. Maybe we do, I don't know. 630 versus 963. She do not... Oh, she's actually in a war. Okay. So he is attacking back and trying to get back his... Uh, his child that he just lost up here. I believe it is a he. Yeah, but he's not very powerful. But maybe it's enough... Maybe it's enough for us to actually go in. Hmm. Where is she right now? Can we see that? Do we have any... I think she's probably up here trying to take down uh, take down him. We don't know. But it would be pretty easy to just go in and take this tile, I think. We could just go in, take uh, these three, and then go into her capital. And by taking, uh, by taking this one first, we do have a mountain that we can defend ourselves against if she is coming for us. Which would be... I think that's that's a pretty good idea, actually. I didn't expect to go into a war here, but, well, you know, the situation is just gonna... Well, we, we will wait a little bit, because we do not have the goal to actually go in. We, we will need maybe 15, 20 gold, uh, because otherwise we'll go into the miners because of the raised men. And it could be a decent... I mean, it could take a couple of years to take the tile that we need to get the war score up. So I, I think we need to wait just a little bit, but... I, Maybe maybe it's gonna be this episode, maybe the next one. We will definitely go in against her at some point. Uh, we will just see if... Uh, this this war is just starting, I think. I think it's just starting, so we, we will see what happens here. A new stewardship perk, let's check it out. Let's see what it is. It is toe the line or change of loyalty. Hmm. Domestic affairs plus 25%. Not bad. Uh, toe the line, your vassals are less like... I, I think we're going with the... Uh, no, oh, we went for the architect, actually. This one is actually not bad either. Uh, we might consider that one. 
Um, building construction times minus 30%. Not needed at all because it's getting built so fast anyway with the new mod. So collect taxes, effectiveness plus 25%. I think we're going for that. That is just really good. Plus 25%. That's that's a lot. That's a lot of gold we can get from that. So yeah, good. New acquisitions. During the daily management of my realm, I have learned of several different opportunities I can pursue. Each opportunity has great potential, but realistically, I can only pursue one of them. I must determine what would ultimate, ultimately give me a most the most value. Hmm. So this one is... I've heard rumors of a lost tomb rediscovered. Okay. Countess Yuta could use her help managing her holdings. I don't think she actually needs that. Uh, securing those trade deals will fill my treasury. Yeah, we are we are a steward. We are very much so into the stewardship, and we would we would take the money over anything else. I don't. I haven't even looked at this, but nope, nope. I don't care about it. We will take the money. It's a done deal. And with that money, we can just go down here and maybe go into a war. Yes, let's do it. Oh, we lost our alliance. Hmm. So we're no, no longer ally with this guy. But I don't think I really get. Ooh, look how. What? I think I think he might. Is he? Is he? Is he, is he in trouble? He's in a. No, he's not in trouble. Not at all. He just lost a lot of men, but he, he's not really in trouble. But I think we are going into this fight here with. The petty queen, Katarina. Yeah, yeah, Katarina. Our claims. It's it's a pretty you know it's 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 pretty equal in size here. She got 136. Let's actually check out if she could get any mercenaries before we're doing anything. Mm, probably not. Probably not. Um, but yeah, there is a chance she could do it, but I don't I don't think it's gonna happen. No, I don't think it's gonna happen. Let's uh. Let's just declare this war and get into it. Here we go. So we're going to raise our soldiers right here. Raise all armies straight away. Go in for City of Bowl. I think we're going to take this first because if we're going over here, we... Nope. Okay, we can go over there. We'll also go over there. Uh, the question is... Hmm. The question is which one do we want first? Uh... Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, th I think we might want to take this first. Just to have it. Just to have this. Or maybe... We we'll see when we get in here. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, enemy ally joins war. What? Who is this? Uh-oh. She's pretty powerful. So she joins in because... Oh, I didn't check the... Oh, no! We are gonna be in trouble here. I, I forgot about it. Of course the vessel is gonna join in. See, see, she's weak. She's pretty weak. But she's not. She's not weak at all. She's actually quite good. And I don't think there's anything we can do here. Because we don't have any allies. And yeah. Th th this is gonna be a very, very tricky war. Um... The question is how good uh, her soldiers is light footmen and bowmen and then just levies. A couple of soldiers here and there. I mean, if we... I, I don't think we can go in and attack right there. I think we need to go in here and take her out first. Um, but I don't really want to fight in her territories. Let's let's see if she... She might want to come for us. She might want to come for us. Let's see. Let's see if she's going to move up to us. I think she is. And hopefully we will get to get a battle with her before. So make sure that we got the right general here. We got fatal casualties plus twenty five percent. That is pretty damn good. And uh, skirmish the damage. No, we're gonna go for uh, making damage here. That's that's a really good trade. A scheme at court. Oh no! Oh no! A murder murder scheme for Valdemar. Oh well. Good luck, Valdemar. <laughs> She's not gonna attack. Um, okay. I think we are gonna go for her capital then. I might wanna catch her over here. Let's see. 
Because I think we are better than her. I think I think we could win a battle against her. So uh, that might be something we want to look into to weaken her quite a bit. See, we are we got better army commanders. Mm, they got more commander traits and more men at arms. But uh, I th I think I'll win this battle right here. So I think we're gonna go in against her because if we could take her prisoner, I don't know if she is in the army. Commander, no, nope, she's not in the army. Uh, but if we can win this battle, we will have a very, very, very a bit, way bigger chance to actually win the overall war here. Uh, a misunderstanding. Okay. Yeah, we're swaying our sister. But uh, I guess that ended. Uh, Tiny Tavern is constructed. That's all good. Are we winning this? Yes, I think we are. Just about. Just about. Right call. It was the right call. Our knight, Frederike Gusling. Lushing. Was wounded, I guess. Okay. Yeah, that's bound to happen. That's bound to happen. But yeah, pretty good fight right there. And that will make sure that we can... Um, at least we get some war score going. Maybe we should go out and take her capital. Yeah, maybe we should just... You know what? Let's just go for... Um, just go for this tile. Because I think I think she's gone. I think she's, uh, she's up here warring against this guy. So we just need to worry about... We just need to worry about um, what is she called? She is called Runa. We just need to worry about Runa. Uh, they raised a couple of men here, but that's okay. Uh, if we could get another fight going here, I wouldn't mind that either. Uh, but I don't want to do it in the mountains, and she's going to be in the mountains. So let's just start sheeting down this one right here, because I don't want to fight her if we can manage to get away with. Cheating this down, maybe going home, get some more men, and then come back again. It's gonna be a very, very tough war, but it's gonna be an interesting one. Okay, this this is not good because now she's coming home and she might go for us. We will see in just a moment's time. Yes, imprisoned. Hmm, that's not good. That is not good at all. Yeah, I think she's gonna come for us now. Uh, that could be a battle we could maybe not take because I think the ally will help her. Runa would probably help her. To quarantine or not? Uh, I overhear a scholar and a merchant debate the merit of quarantines during plagues. The scholar says that wise men and physicians have always advised that those with con con contag contagious diseases must be kept away from the healthy. The merchant says isolating communities will destroy trade opportunities and render the settlement imp impotent and weak. What do I think? Living in fear is a silly idea. Just trust in Jesus. Nah. Nah. Uh, we should heed the scholar's wisdom when it comes to these things. In all honesty, I could care less about this debate. <laughs> hmm. I think we, got, we, we, should, we should heed the scholar's uh, wisdom. She remember what her mother told her about the scholars and their importance, I guess. Nah, probably not, but... We're gonna go with it. <laughs> uh, let's carefully see what happens here. Mm. Is she going to attack us? I, I think they might gonna attack us when uh, Runa is gonna come back from up here somewhere. I don't know where she, exactly she is, but I think she's gonna come back very soon. Um, hopefully, actually, this army is gonna go down here and try and see our stuff down. Never a dull moment, our player error. Rigma the second is rowdy. Okay. So maybe a martial or intrigue person right here. She also got some decent diplomacy because she is comely and intelligent. Hmm. What route are we going down here? Maybe martial? Nah, she's not really that good in martial. I don't know. We we can we can choose that later on anyway. Never a dull moment. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe we should choose. Maybe we should choose a focus for her. What? What? What do we want to focus? Right now, it is focusing. What? There is no focus right now. But <sighs> martial or intrigue? I think we're going intrigue. Let's choose the intrigue here. It might be. F it might be a little bit funny to go down that road. So yeah, let's see what's going on. What's going on? Yeah, seems like 
Oh, she's going in here. Oh, yeah, I think she's going for my capital or something. So we're going to seize this down and then go down and attack her. Let's see if Una, Una is not coming back yet. Not quite there, but she could come back very soon. And she got more men than us, so we don't want to fight them at the same time, that's for sure. There we go. She's coming. She's coming. Could we, if we could take this. See, okay, okay. If we could take, let's hold on, let's hold on, let's see. There is six days left, so we're going to take this. That means we are defending this tile. And... But we don't want to fight them both. And I think... We might get to do that if... No, she got a couple of tiles to go through. And that's mountains. I think tactically we are okay here. We are at a very big disadvantage. Being much less in soldiers. But let's just take this tile and then... Hold on. Okay, we, we, got, we got that. We got four gold from occupying that. Interesting. I didn't know that was actually a thing. Um, hmm. Yes, imprisoned. Yeah, I know, I know. So, let's take a look at this army again. She got 800 levies, two knights. Only two knights. That's not a lot. 100 archers and 100 skirmishers. We got... 658 levies, 6 knights, and 83 heavy infantry. See, the heavy in infantry is very good. Uh, they, they are going to kill a lot of soldiers. Um, we also have well supplied, and we will defend this tile if she comes here. But it is stable, so we don't really have any advantages. I think we need an advantage. So I think we might want to... Yeah, I don't know, because... They will join up. We might have the best chance just standing here. Or even going here. No, they're going to defend in the mountain. I think we're going to let her come. She's pretty close in the... Mm, this is a tough call. This is a very tough call. But I think we're going to stay here. How much gold do we have? 81. Can we get any mercenaries? No, they're going to cost way too much. We don't really have an option here. We're just going to stay here. And wait for her to come. And hopefully we do have enough to uh, to not completely die. Yeah, it seems like we might still have the advantage here. Maybe. But but that's only while this army is attacking us. Not when this one is actually joining up with her. But we might have this battle done and dusted before she gets here. We will see. At least she will be pretty... Ooh, it's, it's a close call. It's very close. But I think my strategy or tactic or whatever you want to call it is paying off yes okay won that battle and now we will take the next battle oh this is a tough tough war but i think it's paying off nope she's gonna stay there because yeah i think we need to go home and actually replenish our uh, troops mm -mm -mm -mm. we need to actually go into the council and make sure that we are organizing levies I do need that. Um, we do not have full control in Rigmas Ball, but that can wait. The Levis is way more important here. Um, now, my biggest worry is that they're going to join up and attack us. And the question is, where, we, where, where, where do we want to defend? We don't know what they're going to do. She's going to go home. She's going to go home. She is moving over here for some reason. I think she's going to go down and try and grab one of our tiles. I think we're just going to move down. We don't want to attack her directly. So let's just move down here. We don't even want to go through the mountains. Just go down here and then into our tiles and maybe attack her in this desert here. She is moving that way now. Okay. Shh. 632 soldiers. Uh, I think we're going in here and actually trying to seat this one down now. Uh, or maybe not. I think we need our soldiers back. It says we only got 635. What? Should have more than that. Can we call her into the war? Uh... No, we don't. We are not even allied to her. I wish we were. 
But uh, she don't want to come in and join us. Okay. So I guess we're going down here and then into our own territory just for a second. I just want to see what they're going to do here because our war score should be going up. Should be going up. No, we don't hold the objective. We should hold the objective. We, we need to get the objective. The question is, can we get it? Is it the barony or is it the city? I don't know, I actually know if it's the city or the barony. See, she's going over here again. Let's uh, let us let her get in here. Let her get in here. I don't want to attack her in the mountains, but... A scheme at court. Vino. Is exposed as an agent of murder schemes against Valdemar. Okay. Uh, we're gonna throw him in jail. He's our chaplain. Okay. Well, he's not that good anyway, so let's just throw him in jail. That's pretty good, actually. We can get someone else. I think someone else will be appointed in a second. 608. Ooh. Okay. We can't, we can't wait for... No, nope, she's coming back here. Uh, we want to we wanna attack her. And let her stay in the mountains here. She's actually going over here. So we will have time to attack this army. And I'm going to go for that instead. Because we need to not attack them at the same time. Uh, Freeman's Fortune. So this, this war is basically won by keep keeping attacking them. Uh, <laughs> free man's fortune. Uh, ooh, I'll take the money. I'll take. The, I'll for sure take the money here. Pay me that money because maybe we have enough for a mercenary. Because that would be you no know, two hundred and ten. That's a lot of money. Uh, 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 same place. Same place. Uh, yeah, let's go for that. Let's go for that battle actually. Pretty much the same deal as the last time, but she's gonna move over to us, but I don't think she's gonna come here. Don't think she will actually get here in time. We have decided to go up against each other here, so that's fine. Let's see, let's see if we win this one. We should have the better army still. We lost someone. We lost our spy master, really? What? That's Yuta. Our sister died. Okay, well, <laughs> that happened. Uh, also a notable guest. We don't really care about that. So who took over? Her son, Count Christopher. He's a beautiful son. Start swaying that guy. Uh, we could also offer... Actually, I think we're going to offer guardianship. Because no one seems to be doing that right now because the mother died, Yuta died, our sister. So we are going to let the knight do it. And I should probably also sway him. But he, uh, Oh, we can't sway a child. Are we losing this battle? We could probably lose this battle. And if, this, if so, we're probably going to lose the war as well. Uh, green's my modest leash. Yep, there we go. We should probably modify the contract. Oh, it's in here. Vassal. Modify. It's still the same as before, but maybe we can do something. Uh, yeah, he's not gonna like that. Maybe there is nothing to do here. Maybe there's nothing to do. Take that wall function. Nah. Nah, let's, uh, let's keep it at this. It's okay. It's a pretty good contract for us. Anyhow, it's going to be a close call. It's going to be a close call. I think we're going to win that battle, but, you know, we are, we are getting down in men. We are definitely losing a lot of men here. Um, we are fighting fighting against two, two pretty, pretty good sides. 41%. Okay, okay. 200. Ooh, we should probably get the mercenaries. In all honesty, the mercenaries would... Pretty much secure us the win. Do we want the Estonians or do we want the Dan We want the Danish band. It's a lot of pikemen, a lot of levies. I think we're gonna go for it because it, that would help us actually win or secure this. Uh, so I think they're gonna go. Uh, actually, uh, we want to attack her up here. So let's go in straight away. He will come and join. So that should be fine. Here we go. This is a very exciting war. It's, it's pretty ta tactical or strategic or whatever. Uh, but we should be fine here, I think. 
Or she's defending a river crossing. Actually, I don't care. We're going in. We're gonna lose right now, but when he comes in, we should win it. Come on! Oh, God! Ah, oh, that was close. Wow, that was really close. Phew! Just in time. Just in time. Uh, so when we have won this battle, which was maybe a tactical mistake here, going over the, the river, uh, we should... New steward. Okay, perk. Let's go for the perk. We are also pregnant. That is very good news. Um, defensive measures. Ooh, fort level plus one, garrison size plus 20. Building construction, minus 30, don't really need that. Uh, let's go for the defensive measures. Good, we are losing... Oh yeah, we had we didn't have uh, another spy master. Um, hmm. Guess we're gonna take Asta. Don't really have anyone better, so let's take her. And continue this fight. Okay, let's see. How many men? 900 men left. We are 52% in war score. We need to take down one of these. I, how can I see which one it actually is? The This is a village. This is a... It actually got multi construction site. Wow. How the hell did they get that? Oh, we are going out there now. Okay, okay. We are going to take that then. She is coming back. She's going to go for my tile. This is going to take how long? Six months. And the question is, is she faster? Is she faster at taking... If she, should, if she takes this, I don't care. But if she's going for our capital, I might care. Okay, she's moving on and maybe taking something else. We do need to take one, of, one more tile here because... Otherwise... We won't get the war score going straight off, so under siege. Yeah, she does, it doesn't really seem like she's going for it. So what's going on? Are they gonna join up? I think they're gonna join up. That's not good for us. Uh, except from we are in the mountains. So that should help us out. But we, no, no, see, since we don't have this tile, they would be the one defending it. So that would be a little bit worrying. Uh, we don't want to... Nope, we don't want to do that. Uh, he can marry. He is our brother. Uh, you can marry whoever you want, actually. Actually, maybe we do want to marry someone that we could call in. Hmm. Do we have anyone nearby? Nah. I didn't meant to zoom in. Nope. I mean, it's not that far away, but it's just out of reach, I think. One over here. No, then I don't really care. Go by some of all skills. Uh, Colleen. Yeah. Sure. How good is he? He's not really good. I mean, I would like to have him around. No, actually, I don't care. Send proposal. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, let's um, let's make sure we are still focusing on this war. I think they're gonna come for us. I think they're going to attack. I'm not sure, but I think they are. Okay, they're going on here now. If they join up, they could definitely attack us. They're moving away now. Not sure what they're up to. But I do really hope we get this one going before they're going to attack us before because that would be it would not be good if they go in on us uh, in on us if we don't have uh, control of this mountain yeah they're gonna go for sieges now they're gonna try and siege us down but that's fine for us we lost the quintus vino that was a prisoner nah that's all good don't care about prisoners not really <laughs> hmm moving back and forth down here well that's not gonna help them win this war it's gonna help us. We're going into the minus zoom, so that's also a little bit of a worry. So they are connecting up now, but we got 69% war score. And it's only gonna go up from here on out because we got the whole tile. So the question is, do we want to go down here and protect this mountain pass? Um, 
Yeah, let's do that because we would be defending in that mountain. We are actually gaining more men now because we are... This is basically our territories now. We could also go in and attack them. I still think we are more powerful than them. So they're gonna run. We could go in. Or we could just go for their capital. I, th I think it's a better choice to go for the capital actually. And let them do whatever they want to do down here. They probably want to re-siege this. And I'm okay with that. Because we might get the capital before them. And by that. Uh, actually, nah. We're gonna go for the tiptoe attack tick again. We're going to go for the tiptoe tactic again. Because we can protect this mountain here. And uh, that will make sure. That they can't really attack us. So we're going to go for the tiptoe tactic. Anyway, we got a new daughter. Uh, what are we going to name her? I have decided to go with a name called Sikni. So our daughter is going to be. Our second daughter is going to be called Sikni. There we go. Let's continue this war. It's, it's, it's a long one. The episode is also going on forever, but you know, it's fun. It's fun. The war is fun and I, I, I don't mind having a little bit of a longer episode here. But I think we're, I think we're good here because the war score is going up and uh, we're pretty equal in size, but we are defending this mountain right here. Like I said, that's a pretty good spot to be at. They're just going to sit there. They're going to go in here. We're probably going to go attack them. We're going to move over here. Let's see, let's see what they're gonna do. Is he not moving with us? Oh, he's not, okay. Yeah, you don't want to attack me up here, that's for sure. So they're gonna try and get this, is my thought. And I might want to go attack them, actually. No, they're gonna move out, and uh, that's good for us, because that means the war score is just going up. So, yeah. Even, even against... I mean, it, it was not against all odds, but we were up against some pretty big opponents. But we managed to, to tactically or strategically or, you know, do something that made sure that they didn't really won the war. It was a close call, to be honest. It, it was pretty close. Are they coming back again? Okay. But yeah, it was a pretty close call. But we have 1,300 soldiers now. I don't think they are gonna... Yeah, I, I don't think they can win this. They might want to try and get that. That's not gonna happen, mate. Owner is slightly in debt. Uh, we actually need to do something about that. Because that is not good. That's not good at all. What else is it saying? More, uh, more army commander traits, more men at arms. But we got better army commanders. Mm. But the debt situation is really not good that is that is trouble brewing that's for sure what can we do let me let me ah i don't hmm, i don't see uh, anything we can like oh we don't have a commander that might be oh no uh your sister no no are we gonna command this i think we're gonna command it since we got 14 I mean, we're definitely not the best choice here. Why, why, why can't we do commanding another? Oh, it's the. Uh, oh, we got two different uh, armies here, of course. Okay, let's actually merge them. Why can I not merge them? Wait, why? I don't know, but I guess we're gonna command this army. Oh, it's here. Merge armies. There we go. And now it's only her. Okay, good. Uh, that is really bad for us. It's it's really bad, actually. Because we will start losing men if we are in minus. I, and I don't think there is anything we can actually do to... To get any gold here. Nothing we can do about it, except from... Losing men. <laughs> so, I guess we are not gonna defend it. Uh, we might attack. We might attack later on when they're really close to sieging it down. But yeah, it's gonna go. Yeah, this is gonna go down real, real fast. We're gonna go in. Uh, I don't want to lose that. We got the best chance to attack them right now, so let's go with it. But it's not good because we are in minus, so we could lose men and we could actually lose this battle, which would be terrible. Very terrible news. But let's see. Plus eight. Gain level of devotion. Okay. Plus 12. Oh, we're good. That's a good decision. Good decision there. 
Oh, no, no, it's still good. It's still good. A uh, few knights. Okay, so we're losing our knights. Empty council spot. Dang it. That's not good. Well, that's uh, that's how wars goes. <laughs> losing men. Uh, let's reassign our niche. Let's get a new spy master. Yeah. Okay, with that. But maybe that will be enough to actually win the war completely here. 90%. Close, close. So they're gonna go in different directions. We are just gonna go up here in the mountains again and sit, watch whatever is gonna happen. But I think we're good. I don't even think we need to go after them. We can just wait w for the war score to uh, move up. But I am a little bit worried about the, um, the situation here with the gold. But it, it should be fine because we're almost done with the war. But like I said, you need, you need gold to win wars. And if we didn't get the uh, mercenaries, yeah, we would have lost. We would have lost. Definitely would have lost this war if we didn't get the mercenaries. But it seems to be doing all right now. Actually, let's just go for him. Or her, it is. Let's uh, move speed a little bit ahead here so we can get out of this war again. Because I do want to to get out of... Ooh, wait. Hold. Nah, we're fine. Just let them attack me. I'm okay. Yeah, that it should be fine. It should be fine. And that should actually end the war. Nope, still not. Still not. We captured someone. Not important. And uh, it seems like we are still going for another attack here. Just stay here. It's fine. Still worried about the gold. It's not to our advantage being, uh, being in depth, that's for sure. <laughs> But uh, we just want to get out of this war now. Get this tile, get out of the war, get our gold back. Come on, come on, come on. 97, really? Are you kidding me? Come on, game. 97. How many battles do we need to make here? And how many... I mean, we only got one tile and that's... And it's a big, pretty big place. So that's, that's probably why it's taking so long. So another battle. That should do it. There we go. End of battle. And guys, I think we're gonna end the episode with enforcing demands, which will mean we will get the territories. Victory, disband all. And that's gonna be it for this episode because it's gone far enough already. In the next episode, we are of course gonna rename, we're gonna do all that kind of stuff, look taking a look at what actually happened. Um, but what a successful, what a su successful episode this was, man. This was really, really great. And I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Roland Q, and I will see you around next time.